The guard ignored me. Embarrassing. Just watch it on YouTube. If we're not making these up, there you can find them online. Just recently, the city of Prague was voted to be the most beautiful city in the world. It even surpassed Paris, London, and New York. But not everybody shares this opinion. So here are the best worst reviews. Astronomical clock. It's just a big clock. Probably best to demolish it and build something else. That's pretty harsh. The hype is not worth it, as no one really understands how it works. Well, actually, we made a video about how it works, and a lot of people saw that, so they do understand. You can watch it too, the link is below in the description. Check it out. It is a clock. A beautiful one for sure, but hey, it's just a clock. Too much expectation. Very simple clock filled with people. What's a complicated clock to you, man? <laughs> the Arley Clock Show is stupid and pretty much a tourist trap. <laughs> so hands up, who thinks it's a one-star thing? Was it a one-star review? One star? Who thinks this was a five-star review? Okay, one person. Good. Who doesn't speak English? Okay. The time was wrong, and I missed my train. Very disappointing. <laughs> this clock is the most overrated thing I've ever seen. Load of people waiting in front of it for two minutes of some statues moving their heads and ringing a bell. 30 minute wasted lifetime, I never get back. Sorry, man. For tourists, not for people with brain. Here's a good tip, just watch it on YouTube. Yeah, our video, you can do that. Personally, it gave me nothing. Like, what are you expecting it to give you? Like a turdelnik or a coffee? No, it's a clock. It, it gives you the time, but this is very relevant. Was nice, only my car was stolen. Like, was it stolen by the clock? That's why you're giving it one star review? Come on, the clock didn't steal your car. I mean, how are these two things related? Like you were watching the show and then you went back to your car, it was stolen, so you give this a one-star review? <laughs> and I'm sorry, your car was stolen, by the way. Now, this is a good one. I learned from my tour guide that the clock was destroyed during the Second World War, but rebuilt after the war. I was disappointed when I discovered this fact, especially after all the misleading advertising, which claim it is a 600-year-old machine. On the other hand, the show is not spectacular. Not much happens, but there was a crowd anticipating the event, which I guess is suitable for the surrounding businesses. It would be more productive if the advertisements focused more on how the replica was reconstructed and tell people the truth. I think this could become a serious legal issue given the intentional fabrication of false advertisements and misleading marketing tactics to deceive the public for monetary gain. The city is the main culprit and should be held accountable for the propagation of incorrect historic information. <laughs> this guy wants to sue the city of Prague for the clock being restored. Do I get it right? I think this needs some clarification. Yes, parts of the building and the clock were destroyed, uh, but they were renovated and many of the parts are original. But if you want to sue us for that, bring it on. We're ready. I, I want to see that lawsuit. <laughs> so this was the astronomical clock, one of the most popular sites in Prague that some people really hate. But let's go to another popular location, and that is the Charles Bridge. The Charles Bridge. Very crowded, not so interesting. Don't go there. Never been there. This is Tenile Romero. I like how you signed your review, but you've never been here. It's exactly, I have the same review uh, in Alaska. Never been there. Janek <laughs> Rubesh. But, but I gave it five stars. Overrated as hell. Everyone kept banging on about this bridge before I went, and I have no idea why. It's a bridge with some statues on it, some of them removed for restoration at the time. Thousands of tourists 
and the usual tourist traps. Yep, that's the one-star review for Charles Bridge House. Nothing to see, just a stone bridge. Would you give it like two stars if it was wooden? I don't know. Bad lightning and dirty. I guess. The worst public toilets. Now, David, if you've actually used the Charles Bridge as public toilet, don't, don't do that, please, ever again, okay? Or I'm gonna give one star review to you. David S, using our Charles Bridge as a public toilet. Don't do that. Oh boy. Few statues, a lot of stones. I don't know, creepy. Nothing to do with romance, has more to do with funeral and church cult. If you need new nightmares, you have exactly the right material here. We're not making these up, They're, you can find them online. Too much people, a bridge too old. It's just a bridge. Yep, looks like any other bridge I've seen in my life. Just, just, it's just a bridge, one star review. Boring. Too many people in one place. Too many people. Too many people, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Too empty. Now make up your minds. Do you want it full, empty, I don't know. I did not get to meet Charles IV. Horrible, I'm never coming back here. Not worth it. I mean, he's there, he's not alive. He's been dead for a couple centuries, but you know, people don't live that long, sorry. There you have it, the Charles Bridge, more than 600 years old, tried to impress people from all around the world, but it can't satisfy everyone. Stone, sometimes empty, sometimes full, full of statues. Now let's see what people have to say about the Prague Castle. It's just a statue, dude, you don't have to film that. By the way, if you want to know my review of the bridge, well, we just got to the other side of the river, so it's like a three star. If there's something I would give a one star review in Prague, it's these steps. Why can't they just build an escalator? Oh. The Prague Castle. Okay, here we are, Prague Castle, one star reviews. It was great, I liked everything. I give one star. Okay, I'm not really sure if you understand how Google reviews work. When I posed my mom for a photo about 30 minutes, the guard noticed me and recruited me faster than my grandfather before the Second World War. So I guess Bolikol is now a member of the guard here? Do I understand it right? Boring. Yeah, I guess that's accurate. Bored, boring. Yeah, we, we read this one. We, we understand that this is boring. Nothing special. I saw soldiers marching around and rudely and aggressively pushing tourists out of the way. I mean, how dare they? Can't you let a tourist take a selfie and just wait? Thank you. I'll make sure to tell the guards next time you post for a selfie with your selfie stick, they'll wait, okay? Don't worry about it. No entry with a pocket knife? Huh, why do you care about a pocket knife? Just buy this dagger at the gift shop. It's real. The guard ignored me. Yeah, there's somehow they're like trained to ignore you. Unless you wanna attack the castle, then they will not ignore you. I don't have any good memory in Prague. I kind of feel bad for him. This is not even a castle. I felt like an animal in a zoo, no locals, only tourists eating and swarming all over the place where literally nothing is for free. Rude guards and zombie-like tourists fill this heartless and soulless place. Soulless place. I don't know why the name castle, it's just big house. Now let me look up the Webster dictionary, definition of a castle, big ass house, okay. Yeah. Very long queue for the security check. Mandatory even for those who just want to stroll the area without entering the castle. That one's actually legit. You pay to see everything, mostly empty rooms and shops. Complete ripoff. Go to Budapest instead. Much better castle. This must have been written by the honest Budapest guy. We got to talk to him about this. Don't you dare write that again. 
You know, there are smaller but more beautiful castles in the world. Yeah, we know, but don't blame our big beautiful castle for that. Oh, this one's ours. Honest David's Review. There's no castle, so to speak of. Not in the real sense of what you expect a castle to look like. It's just a big rectangular building. Sorry to everyone that think it's nice. Go to England and look at our castles and you will understand. Plus, you have to pay to get in. Sorry, I give it only one star. Very British, how he apologized for his review. Sorry. That's all I got. The others were just complaining that they have to pay for the bathroom and that they have to pay to get into the street that opens for free after 5 p.m. Sorry. Other, other than that, just one big star review. This was an obvious cherry picking from our side and most of the sites we showed you have five star reviews and people love them. We just wanted to point out the worst ones and actually most of them can be easily solved by watching the Honest Guy show. If you don't know how to read the astronomical clock, we have a video for that. If the Charles Bridge is too crowded for you, just come early in the morning. We have a video about that. And if you don't like the Prague Castle, there's another one in Prague, Vyshehrad, and you may like that even more. You watch this far, our episode, well, maybe you would give it a five-star review. And guess what has a five-star review? Our mini guides. It's a separate show we only do for our Patreons. You can become a Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash honestguide and check out the mini guide show that I absolutely love doing. And you will learn a lot of interesting things about our lovely city of Prague that many people voted the most beautiful city in the world. This was Hansa from behind the camera, Yannick in front of it. We are the Honest Guides from Prague, Czech Republic, and we'll see you next week. And a Czech word at the end is pretty obvious, and it is recenze. Recenze is a review. One star review, jedno hvězdičková recenze. Recenze, review.